Today we'll talk about flappy leaves on a pitcher plant. So coming up. Hi, my name is Remy and I love nipple teas. So, uh, on your nipple teas, your pitcher plants, sometimes you will have flappy leaves. Uh, what could it be? Uh, usually it could be two things. The first one that you want to rule out is too hot. If, uh, it, I don't know, it was summer and uh, it went like at uh, 40 Celsius, uh, I will put the Fahrenheit on the screen. Uh, yes, you just, the plant is almost cooked. It may recover, but still uh, a lot of um, the, the plants the, the green uh, will uh, just uh, be uh, dying. It got cooked and uh, you just have to wait and give good care. The other way your pitcher plant could have flappy leaves if, um, if it's thirsty, uh, like really bad. Uh, if it's really, really thirsty, uh, yes, uh, it's a lack of water. So a lot of people will go in this uh, rabbit hole and uh, give more water, obviously. The plant need water, I give more water. It sounds logic, but it will also depend on the substrate that you use. If you are in, a, for example, peat moss, it retains a lot of moisture already. Uh, it's, uh, there is no air, pocket of air, that, so usually it will smell like a rotten egg also when you repot. Uh, this is not a correct substrate uh, for nipple teas. Um, Pitcher plants need really hairy, uh, mossy substrate. Again, they, they don't live in a bog. They live in a forest, in the moss, mostly. So uh, you want uh, a lot of drainage. Even pit moss and uh, perlite, except if it's 50-50, and uh, even though it, it will be, uh, you take a risk. So if you are in pit, pit moss and then uh, the plant is thirsty and you water again, that's a problem. Here is what is happening. In fact, your plants got root rot because the substrate was too uh, water loaded. Then no roots, yes, the plant is thirsty. And then because you don't know you have root rot, you give more water. So even the new roots will also die and etc. So you can see the, the circle here. So that's bad. Usually when, uh, if you know your substrate is good, well drained, then uh, I would recommend give more water, but sometimes you also want to repot. That's a good uh, sign that, okay, let's check the roots. Maybe you do a hard repot on your plants to see if there is some roots. It happened to me where uh, all the roots were gone. It was basically like a cutting uh, on uh, the soil. So yeah, repotting is the first step. If the substrate is uh, good, if the substrate is not good, you're in pit moss or whatever substrate you are, except if it's really hairy, like Academa or 50-50, uh, uh, Sphagnum, Perlite, etc. Uh, yeah, I would still report, just to check if everything is okay. Your plant is already struggling, right? Uh, the flappy leaves is not a good sign. So uh, you better uh, go all in and report fresh substrate, give it good care and let it be for two months. Don't try to uh, put it somewhere and then, oh, it's still not happy uh, after two weeks, I will move it here and there. Every time you move a plant, it will take time to readapt to the new condition because even in your house, the temperature will change, the uh, light exposure it, uh, will change, uh, airflow also, if you have uh, some uh, uh, furnace, etc., the airflow won't be the same. So uh, usually repot and wait, wait a month at least before uh, going crazy and wanting to, to move and change everything. So that's it for this short video, I uh, hope you enjoy it. Let me know if it was helpful and uh, I think now we have an option on YouTube where you can uh, boost the video, I don't know, uh, it's a new thing. So maybe uh, if you like and you see another button, just go for it uh, and obviously subscribe. So until next time, happy growing.